What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to have you guys here today. Mi nombre es Silvia and this is the Mas Masa Show. Today, I have an arts and craft activity for all of you guys. If you're looking for something to do during this time, I have the perfect craft for you to do. All you need is about four to five items and hopefully you have something laying around at home and you can execute this. Today we're gonna to be making coasters out of tile. Let me show you the tiles that I have ready for you guys here today. They are super pretty, bright, and colorful. I got these a while back from Gonzalez Decorations Inc. I'm pretty sure that they can mail you a few. They are located in Los Angeles, so if you're in the area, swing by. I'm pretty sure they have curbside pickup. If not, you can have them mailed and uh, you can handle this project. But I would say look around your area to see if there's any local place that have tile. And I like these because, well, I like bright colors and they are very Mexican. But you can use any tile that you prefer. Even if you have some lying around your house that you haven't used, maybe when you were doing some home restoration or whatever it was that you used them for, you can use those as well. They are smooth in the back. Obviously with this type of backing, it is going to scratch your surface, your tabletops or anything like that. So I'm going to show you how to turn these regular tiles into coasters. So you're gonna need coasters of any sort. You're going to use felt. I've had this felt from previous projects that I've made, but if you don't have felt at home or you can't get any, maybe at your local Michaels, remember Michaels also has curbside pickup, I would just recommend grabbing an old t-shirt or old whatever it is, cloth that you have and using that I mean, you're not really gonna see the bottom of this unless you have a nosy friend who turns it around to see how it works. But other than that, you can use any type of black material or material that you think would go well with your tile. You're going to need a glue gun, glue sticks, a white crayon or white pencil, and some scissors. That's pretty much all you're gonna need. So let's get to work. If this is something you think you would like, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit like, okay, hit like before we get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our felt material or whatever material it is that you have. I'm going to use this corner right here. I am going to take my tile and I'm going to lay it flat on a corner I'm gonna take my white crayon or white pencil and I am going to trace all around so that I can get an even piece of felt for my tile. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trace it all around. Make sure you get an even cut. Press down hard because sometimes it's hard to color it in, especially with the pencil. And well, there you have it. Now I can just cut all around. And so you should have your square and now it's ready to be cut. My recommendation is to cut a little inside the white color. Don't judge me on my cutting skills. I never was able to cut or color or draw <laughs> as a kid. Matter of fact, I loved arts and crafts as a kid, but mine never looked cute, ever. I even got a D in ceramics, go figure. All right, so now I'm just going to make sure that I cut a little bit of the white off because I need it to be a little smaller than my square just because I don't want it to be sticking out of my tile. All right, so there you have it.
blindly. That's how easy. Just kidding, don't try that at home. Yeah, don't do it with your eyes closed. <laughs> So here is my tile. I'm going to flip that over and I'm going to line around the edges with glue. You can find fabric glue or any other type of glue, uh, but this will work just as great. And I know everyone probably has a glue gun at home. Now you have to do this quickly or else your glue will dry. Make sure your glue gun is nice and hot. That's secure. Don't burn your fingers. There we go. So here is the bottom of the coaster. I don't know if you can see, but some of the edges of the felt are bigger than the actual coaster, so that's super easy to fix. Just take your scissors and level it off. Do that all the way around. I don't know how to measure right or draw for that matter. And there you have it, a coaster. And now it won't scratch your surface. See, you can't even hear it. Super smooth and super cute. And just cool, cool all around. Here we go. No scratching. How's everyone doing? Let me know down below how everyone's doing. What have you guys been working on lately as you stay home? I've been doing a lot of painting at night. I join a painting class on Instagram and I've been enjoying that. Every night at 9.30 Pacific Standard Time, Oslo, Oslo, I can't remember exactly. Let me look it up for you guys. Every, I should know it by now, right? I'm so horrible at names, even Instagram names, but every night I've been... A, oh, AZ Lotus Art is uh, the person I've been following. I don't know if you can see that. So check her out if you have nothing to do at night, if you're bored or you just want something to do, check this account out, 9.30 every night. She is doing online drawing classes for free. Of course, if you want to give her a tip, you know, that's cool. That's one of the things I've been doing. I've been also doing a lot of biking. Um, I've been doing at least five miles a day. Okay, every other day, probably. I skip out a lot. But uh, that's another thing. I've been doing a lot of cooking. That's like my therapy right there. Uh, if you haven't tried cooking, um, try it. I'm pretty sure everybody at this point has been cooking. If you need some ideas, swing by my Instagram account. I have ideas every single day. I put up what I'm cooking. Um, also, check out my channel, my other channel on Abuela's Kitchen. I have Mexican home cooking, uh, traditional Mexican food with an occasional, um, you know, modern twist, Latina twist, Chicana twist. My mom's on there too, uh, creating different varieties of recipes, so swing by that channel. Uh, but let me know down below, how are you staying active? What are you doing with your kids? That's probably one of the things that we're all asking ourselves, like what else can I do with my kids? So arts and crafts is a pretty cool way to pass the time. I've been doing a lot of outdoor um, dinners. I'll cook and we sit outside on our picnic bench and just have dinner out there while the weather is really good. I know in other parts of the uh, country, the weather isn't very nice right now. So, but hang in there guys, it, we'll get through this together. 
And as we continue to share ideas on how to keep moving and uh, encouraging each other, before we know it, we'll be out and join each other's company again. So in the meantime, make all kinds of cool things. Uh, by the time this is all over, we're gonna have so many items to share with our friends. Uh, can't wait to have some people over and use my coasters <laughs> that I'm creating amongst other things. I have like all these paintings I should show you guys that I've been creating, like that I've been painting, like I told you guys. Can't wait to show those off in person to people I socialize with. So just let me know down below what you're doing. Give me some ideas. What kind of videos also do you guys want to see on my channel? I've been a little MIA. I go MIA a lot on this channel because I'm usually busy with the other channel. But I'm trying to get in here every once in a while just to make sure everyone's still out there. So here you have it. Coasters made out of tile. Really cool. Really pretty. And just in time for when this quarantine is over, we can have all of our awesome, cool friends that we miss so much over. Let's pretend this is all over. So I have my a beautiful cup here for myself, another one for my friend. Ben, siedate a chat una aquí conmigo. And we take out our drink, and we're all happy, and like so happy, and so happy. I put some slices of orange in there just to make it all cute. And let's pretend like somebody's out here. Salud, Pancracia! Al fondo! Whatever. Ah, pero qué bonitos posters tienes! Oh, sí, Pancracia, los hice durante la cuarentena. Ya sabía que ibas a venir y quería tener algo para ti. ¡Salud! Well, that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this craft session with me, Silvia, from Mas Masa. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Enjoy the outdoors, guys. Enjoy crafting. Enjoy your family. Uh, don't get on each other's nerves. Every once in a while, send yourself on a timeout to your room and just put on those headphones and listen to some cool music or something. Or cook. Do something productive. Don't just lay around, guys. That's all I have for you guys today. We will see you, or I will see you, in the next one. Latina in the house.